Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. We, I am. And we are playing Madden 20 with the Cleveland Brownies. With the Cleveland Brownies. I, I didn't even... I didn't even modify it that time. <laughs> I just wanted to like follow it up with you some just wanted, vocals. Okay, let's see if you let's do some runs, Jonas. We can do some KC and JoJo runs. How <laughs> <laughs> are you? you? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh my life. Oh baby. <laughs> Man, I thought Casey, where's the rest of Joe to see? Because we're here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we definitely got a K and a C. <laughs> <laughs> Both stand for K. Hey, guys. <laughs> K, what's K stand for? <laughs> the same thing. Joe. It makes the same sound as C. So. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> blank with a K and blank two, with a C. Yeah, two, 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 big blanks. Old, two, blanks. two big old blanks. Well, black and white. <laughs> 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 we're, uh, we're talking about chickens. Yeah, right? Oh, man. Jonas, yes. let me tell you something about myself. Okay. I don't own a pillow. <laughs> At all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't. I, I have a lot. Blow your mind. I know. You're just looking at me like, I, really? I, got all, I have a lot of pillows. Like, what the hell? Yeah, a pillow. Oh, it actually probably would help my neck if I slept without one, to be honest. I don't, I don't own a pillow. I mean. Do you I lay on your arms or you lay your head flat on the bed? Like an infant? No. I, uh, I tend to have, like, a comforter yeah. that I can mold into the proper form that will support oh, my head you're gonna just tuck area. it up under the old noggin yeah it's nice and soft it kind of like has this whole thing where it like stays cool too for the majority and i just kind of like i can roll it yeah. and then i can kind of adjust yeah whereas i find like pillows are too confining i have a hard time with pillows because i have what i call fat head syndrome i don't know where, what that means where i like I, my head is really heavy so i destroy pillows really fast like they lose all their fluffiness Oh really? So then, like, I end up with like a stiff neck and ish because, like, I'm like sleeping all like that's like, my thing, crook man. Neck. Like pillow. That's why I stopped using pillows because I got a big head too, Joe. <laughs> yeah, right. so don't look at me and agree. <laughs> all right, yeah, I don't need you to do that. I would. I got fat head syndrome. I wouldn't say you got fat head syndrome. I got a big head. Joe. <laughs> Let's put our heads together, Joe. See who has a bigger nut. Here, you you wrap your hands around my head, and then I'll wrap my hands around your head <laughs> measure, as they touch. Just measure heads. <laughs> just the head. Just the head. Just see, so you, see who's just, got more head. Just so you don't get it confused. We're just measuring heads. Yeah. Right. When? How long ago did you decide to make this change? I don't. <laughs> when did I make the jump? Yeah. When did you make the pillow jump? Uh. Well, I took the plunge a couple years ago. You know, I was like, uh, I had a pillow, and it just kind of deteriorated. Okay. Much like pillows do. And do you keep pillows like boxers? Like, are they like in? Were they like in depth? You're like, I had the same pillow I had in third grade. And I don't know why I wasn't supporting my head anymore. Shut up. So, <laughs> look, my my ex made me throw out a lot of my pillows, and then Get when you. we broke up, she took the pillows in the divorce. <laughs> And you're like, and I was left without a pillow. Basically, all my right? old ones were gone, and she took the new ones. It's not even wrong, too, because she was like, you know, she came to me. She was like, this pillow stinks. I'm gonna buy a new pillow, and you're gonna use that. And I was like, all right, fine, whatever, because you know. They, what a, yeah, yeah, you're like, okay, cool. Yeah, fine. I probably need a new pillow. You're not wrong. Lady. Yeah, right. I'm not arguing that my pillow is old. This is that I, I, I'm a male, so I just deal with a love, certain level of discomfort. Like this, hey, this must be my life now. <laughs> Yes, I'm just going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not agonizing. It is, pain. That is how guys work too. It is. They're like, man, my shoulder hurts. It takes like my shoulder had to hurt for like four weeks before I was like, man, I should go see the doctor. I was just like, this is my life now. It just yeah. hurts all the time. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to be in pain now. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I don't know. I just never went and bought another pillow. And then it was like, you know, you're going out and you're like looking for that that perfect pillow. Yeah, and I've heard good things about memory foam pillows, but they're like seventy bucks. Yeah, dude, like, it's a. Uh, they're uh, I actually just recently found. 
and I think this may be a new style pillow. It's called, it's like a memory foam pillow, but it's like chopped memory foam. So it's like okay. a bunch of little memory foam. So then you can like kind of mo- squish it and mold it however you want to fit your head. And it seems like my fat head won't kill it because memory foam is resilient and like yeah, it bounces. It. Yeah, yeah, but but I can not have to worry about like the square getting all lumpy. I can it's just a bunch of like chunks of memory foam. But even like the bricks of memory foam are pretty resilient, man. Yeah, I just I don't know, man. I have a terrible time with pillows. I have like that's one thing I just I've never found the pillows that were like lasted a long time. Like I don't know, I've had issues ever since I was like a grown person. Yeah. Like when I was younger, I was like, whatever. I was like, but now I'm like, God, why is my neck hurt? <laughs> <laughs> I can't find. And That's like, a good it's, point, man. Yeah, like, and I like those. I, like, I feel like I could try one of those pillows that has like the dip in it that like supposedly aligns your spine when you sleep. Mm-hmm. But I would never lay on my side directly on it, and I feel it would be uncomfortable. Really? You can just lay flat? No, I can't. Oh, okay. I like, I can't lay you. flat on my back, and I, and I can't lay flat on my side. I always, like, kind of have, like, a weird, like, I don't know. Yeah, dude. I need a little bit of elevation in the neck area. Yeah, a little dude. bit. Yeah. You Let's might not... want to switch over to the blanket meta, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, might, it it's... might save my life. You, I'm telling you. When you can, like, just, like, hey, I need 10 degrees of lift, and you can just, like, scoop a little piece of blanket, and you're like, oh, there we go. Perfect. Ah, dude, I'm, I might have to look into this. And then, you know, on those lonely nights, Jonas, you can just, like, cuddle hug, it. You can hug the blanket. I can hug it. You can roll it around on your neck and hug it. I'm not even kidding either. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of nice to spoon <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! I share too much. I'm t- I'm trying to take this this program to the next level. Are you? I am, Jonas. Let's talk about your penis. <laughs> no, we, you want to? Let's. No. I'll pull something out, put it on the table. We can have a whole dialogue about how it looks. About how? It, like that's the priest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I agree, Jonas. <laughs> I don't think you've seen enough black D in your life, Jonas. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you need some black D immersion. <laughs> immersion right. therapy. Just dangle it in front of my face. Like, hypnotize me. Like, you're getting very sleepy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> God, dude. You're like way too comfortable talking about that too. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> you know, because it got to the point where I got uncomfortable and you were just keep, you just kept going. I'm just laughing. <laughs> you just kept going with it. I'm... Oh dude, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but Yes. Yes, Jonas. <laughs> I do think that you might want to try going over the blanket meta. Like honestly, and like this is the only problem that I find is that you've got to keep pillows on deck because I've definitely had girls over in like the seven, eight years that I've never had that I've not had a pillow, and, yeah. and it has like literally been that long. And they're like, "All right, where's your pillow?" And I'm like, "I got these two blankets. I got the guest blankets." <laughs> And oh they look my. at me like I'm freaking crazy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> They're just like, oh, you don't have any pillows? I'm like, no. Nah. This is the guest blanket. <laughs> I got two guest blankets. Wow, well, in case you had two girls over? Yeah. No, in case they, you know, they need a little extra support. <laughs> I'm actually looking out for them. I feel you. And the guest blankets are probably better than mine, but I keep those clean. And I just like I lay them out like where the pillows would go. It's it's very Oriental, Jonas. All right. You know what's funny is uh my ex girlfriend uh the like the pillows I have are pretty big bulky pillows because I have a fat head and uh, they would hurt her neck because it would like it would do the opposite instead of her having like her head slanting down her head would be slanting up. Yeah. And oddly enough, like I was like, hey, why don't you just try using this blanket as a pillow? And that's what she used whenever she would stay over, oh. because it, it was like thin. It was only a couple inches thick, and it, that's what she needed. And I was like, oh, because her pillows at her house were like paper thin pillows. Really? Yeah, like not paper thin, but very thin for pillows. So I always had to bring. I ha- I took a pillow over there to keep at her house. So if I stayed there, I had support for my head. Yeah, because I I definitely need some support, man. Oh yeah, dude. It, this 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 nut right here is like a double D, all right? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's like I got like a, a G noggin. Whoa, really? It's like a, like I, uh, yeah, dude, like I'm not wearing an eight fitted hat, but like I'm up there. If you have a, if you have an eight fitted hat, that's really big. That's uh, that's a big head. I'm trying to think. I'm at like, I don't know. It depends on my hair, because the way yeah. that my hair grows out. 
I can go from a seven and a half to a, an eight pretty easily. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm usually a seven and five ace or a seven and three quarters, but not fitted hats don't have that. So, what rung do you use on your uh, snapback? I, I haven't had a snapback hat since I was a child. Really? Yeah, I don't like snapback hats. Really? Well, I also wore hats backwards forever, so like I don't like having the snapback like the snapback forehead line yeah <laughs> like, yeah like that uh but now i wear my hats forward. all right all right just to give some context uh my snapback that i'm wearing currently right now i'm on the last two oh you're just that's i think that's about like where i would be so yeah we got some pretty big nuts man yeah oh my nuts are huge <laughs> no jonas <laughs> It's a British terminology. <laughs> it's, it's over from across the pond. Dude, I don't know what pods are. So we're talking about medicated pads. Tux medicated pads. But yeah, they call it a nut. I don't know why. But I mean, I guess it's because it's your, your nut, your melon. Your he noggin. did up. Touchdown return. My I nut, my melon. Yeah, my running back couldn't catch his, their defensive back. I find that slightly odd. But when I'm running a touchdown, their linebacker can catch me from 30 yeah. yards across the field. Yeah, you always got the star boys on you. And we're effing star boys. Yeah, Jonas, I don't know, man. Having a big head is is, is not it's not a good thing, man. Yeah, dude. It like, has made it hard for me to to buy fitted in the past. Yeah, yeah, because it's like it's like it's like when you if you need like a like a bigger shirt, like you're always just like, yeah, you, they got way less of the smaller sizes. Yep. Yeah, man. It's, we're in the we're in the one percent or something. <laughs> oh, Jonas. Fat. fat heads, Jonas. Uh, they make a fat head of me. It just looks like me. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> got a fat head. TNT is just a picture of you on the. <laughs> right, it's just me hanging out. Those things died off. They were super big for a while. Fat heads. Yeah, right. But on the same note, who wants? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants all of that on their Who wall? Who wants a life-size Randy Moss on their wall? <laughs> Even a child. Like. Right. That's for a special type of person who actually has, like, a football room or something. Right. Or, like, yeah, I mean, I could see, like, if, as a kid, like, wanting, like, the Browns helmet or yeah. something. Like, not even a big one, like, a somewhat small, you know. But, like, why would you want a six foot six Randy Moss jumping in the air right. sticker? Because the way I figure is that the people that they're marketing that to, do you realize that, I don't know if it's exactly half, but around half of America is married and every single wife is like, hell no. You ain't putting that in my house. <laughs> every single one. There's, not, there's nowhere in the house it could go unless you have a man cave. That's what I'm saying. You I wonder have what a the room percentage dedicated. of men that have man caves in their house are. Yeah, not a lot, man. Under 10, probably? Yeah, un uh, I would say somewhere around 15%. 25 of, max? Yeah, 25 max. And then the amount of men who are like, hey, I'm going to put a life-size Randy Moss in my man cave instead of just like... like anything some, else? Yeah, anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> It doesn't. A life-size picture of Randy Moss doesn't, with a fat head and a big cartoonish facial features does not complement anything. It doesn't. It complements that Sunday nights between whenever football is on. <laughs> right. One day a week for six months out of the year. Yeah, and then what? Then you're just stuck with this big-ass Randy Moss looking you in the face whenever you're trying to watch Law & Order. I don't want that. <laughs> play, play Zelda in your man cave. Dang it. Yeah, dude, I feel you. I don't know how those things were so popular for so long. I don't know. They were, like, forever. Like, it was like, who wants a four-foot-wide Browns helmet in their room? So, I don't know. If, okay, look, a look, little, little disclosure. I always forget that we should do that, first off. Fatheads are, like, they're big wall stickers, right? Yeah, yeah, and they were just, like, a, it was like a live-action shot of it's, a football player, like, jumping up to catch a ball or... Okay, and it was it wasn't the ones that were like caricatures. No, this was like real photos of people. Oh, it was okay. like it was like a game, a, him like jumping up to catch a football, and it would like be his whole body. See, I was thinking it was like the ones that are like caricatures. Oh, like a uh, fat head mode in NBA Jam. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kinda. I got you. No, but the fat heads that they printed were they were they were okay. realistic. But oh, same yeah. difference. It either, doesn't either yeah. way. Either Having way. Randy Moss in a full football suit. <laughs> yeah, what happens when he gets traded? 
<laughs> right then there. what? Then you buy a fat head of somebody else, dude. No. You, you support your team. I'm not putting a big uh, wall Tim sticker. Couch wall sticker in your bedroom. <laughs> and it's not. It's like, wall stickers are not a bad idea. Inherently. Right, no, they're but not. But these football wall stickers? <laughs> no. Of a football player life size? Yes. Wearing that one outfit that, oh, yeah, he changed. He traded jeans. Get out of here. Like, if I was to get a wall sticker, maybe like, I don't know, maybe like a little bag of money or something. A bag of money wall sticker. Yeah, like a couple bags of money. Just put them like in the corner over there. So like I look over and I know I got to get to the bag every morning. Oh, you got to go get that bread. <laughs> yes, Jonas. I got to go get the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Get the bread. <laughs> Got to make a trip to the bakery, you know? Every you know what I'm morning. saying? <laughs> he ain't going nowhere, baby. The bakery get, ain't open yet. Get, get myself a baker's dozen every day. Oh, every better. day, Jonas. Better. Every day. If you don't get the extra one for the baker, who's what, what's the matter? Right? Baguettes, croissants, crawlers. <laughs> Apple turnovers. That's got fruit in it. I don't want fruity bread. F that. I don't like cooked fruit at all. Oh, you you know what, Jones? You have this thing where you say you don't like stuff, and then you haven't tried that stuff since you were like eight. I don't like pastry crust. You say I know that, that for a fact, bro. When was the last I, time you had pastry crust? Uh, I tried some not that long ago. Well, how long is not that? Uh, long a couple, ago? like within the last couple months. I had part of an apple turnover. Where did you eat this apple turnover? <laughs> who made it? I don't know who made it. It was, like, it was an apple turnover. I was like, it. where the hell did I eat it? Work or something? Yeah, some, like, yeah I've had one not long ago. Here, here's, my, here's my thing. It's like, I have made it very clear that I don't like corn. Okay. But I guarantee you that there's a way that somebody could make corn where I'd be like, this, this, it's, it, uh, it just hits the right places and taste buds yeah. on my tongue where I'm like, this is good. Yeah, but it's not a taste thing for me. It's a consistency thing. So if you're not going to change the consistency of a item that's always the same, what's it matter? Cooked fruit is cooked fruit. Pastry crust is pastry crust. It's always dry and flaky. It's always <laughs> wet and mushy and gross. All right, Jonas, man. I'm going to get you a fat head of a Hot Pocket. <laughs> A fat of a cherry pie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, not a hot pie. Those basically are hot pockets. So. <laughs> kind of, With like the chocolate pudding on the inside. Oh, my God. Those ones are so good. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate pudding hot pocket. No, the chocolate pudding like hostess pies. Because it's just like it's like the graham cracker crust with pudding inside. Yeah. They're like 800 calories. Because they, they usually make them with uh, apples and sh stuff in them. I don't like those, but. All right, on the next episode. All right, that's all I'm for today's episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe if you've already done that. Buy me a hostess pie and mail it to 123 Crazy Town Lane. For Jonas. Get T-9 on my blow my nose. We are out. <laughs>